Hey everyone, so first of all, sorry I look horrible, like I just took my hair out of a ponytail because I was in dance class, but I wanted to do this review and I pretty much start my new job to this week so I don't have that much time to film, so I decided to film today. Um, first off, sorry I don't make very many Broadway videos anymore, like I went through a One Direction phase and then... Like, I still like them, but then I was, like, obsessed with them, so, like, this changed into a One Direction YouTube, and, like, I don't know what happened, and now I guess I'm gonna do Broadway stuff again, I don't know. I don't see very many shows anymore because, first of all, price, second of all, distance, um, my city doesn't do very many shows, and when they do, they're really bad shows, like, right, like, recently, like, when I went to go see Newsies, they were doing Mamma Mia here, and I'm like, I've seen Mamma Mia when I was, like, eight, and it's just, like, not a, a very good show, in my opinion, so I was just like, uh But we are getting Book of Mormon! Yes! I'm so excited! We are getting Book of Mormon in July, so I'm gonna be doing the lottery for that. If I don't win the lottery, I'll probably end up seeing it anyway. Um, the cast that's coming has AJ Holmes in it again, and I've already seen him, but he's really, really good, so I can't wait to see him again. Hopefully he won't leave the tour before then, but, um, this is about Newsies. I'm going to ramble a little bit more. Um, the only show I've actually seen that I haven't talked about, I think in the last almost a year, was Pippin. I think that was the last show, that was the only show I've seen that I haven't mentioned on this channel. Um, I saw, it, I have the playbill here, I saw it in, um, November, and November 6th, uh, here's the ticket, and, um, I bought the ticket to see Matthew James Thomas because he was supposed to be in the cast and then like a few days before I was set to go they changed the cast and it was Kyle Dean Massey which is great I really love Kyle Dean Massey um I met him afterwards which was cool I mean he was kind of freaked out I think by me because <laughs> I'm like such a big fan I watched all of his like Broadway.com videos and I told him that and he was just like Okay, like, I don't know. Um, it was really awkward, but if you want a review on that, just let me know. I'll try to remember what happened. Also, living in Anaheim at the time, and I actually moved back to my original city, so I was living with four other girls, so videos were kind of impossible, and so that's another reason why I never posted a video. Um, so this is about Newsies. I'm finally gonna get on to Newsies. Sorry about the rambling. Um... I saw Newsies this past Thursday, um, date was the 2nd. I did the lottery and of course I didn't win, like the lady was like pissed at me, like I think she like took out my name because she was like, I was like watching this crazy guy that was like asking us, asking people for like a free ticket and like she was like next and I was like watching the crazy guy and she was like, Ugh, people don't even listen. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, then she was all pissed at me, and I don't know. So, I didn't win the lottery. I got a discounted ticket for $50, and it was really, really good seat. I'll enter a picture from my seat. And, um, as you can see, I did it stage door, um, for multiple reasons, but I... Really, really enjoyed the show. It was, oh, I've always loved Newsies, and seeing the show just kind of brought back how much I love Newsies. Um, as you may know, I was in the stories of an unlikely Broadway hit. Um, I actually have like a bunch of paperwork in here because they had Disney had me sign all this paperwork just so I could be in this little tiny picture right here like this is <laughs> this is all I got and I had to sign all this paperwork but I'm actually in the book and they were selling this at the theater but I already owned it so I didn't buy it um so I was in that like a couple of years ago I think that's when it got published maybe um so I've always loved this show um the cast was really good. They seemed really young. I didn't get to read the bios, but everyone seemed a lot younger than the Broadway cast, and, uh, except for Jack. The Jack seemed a lot older than everyone else, and it was really awkward, but he was really good. Nailed Santa Fe. Um, that song is so difficult, and I just really respect anyone who can sing that song very well. Um, so Dan DeLuca is, uh, Jack Kelly, super good. 
Um, next person on here is uh, a Crutchy. I wanted to talk about that. Um, if you don't know, they added a song. They added a song um, in the show for Crutchy, and it's him. Uh, sorry, spoiler alert. It's him at the refuge, and he just sits and, like, tries to, like, he's like, uh, it's, like, trying to be funny, but then, like, when you think of the situation, it was just awkward, because he was trying to be funny, but, like, he's in a refuge, like, this is so depressing, like, why are you being funny, like, he's so cute, like, he's trying to be funny, and it's just like, oh, he's in a refuge, and it's just awkward, I love the song, um, it might have been not a good idea to put it in there, just because, speaking for other audience members, some people got bored, which I don't understand personally, because, oh my god, the dancing, and oh my god, some of the, most of the music is really good, but some of the songs are really slow, and the Refuge song was funny, but it was slow, and I really feel bad for Andrew Keenan Bolger, because he is so adorable, and he was the original Broadway Crutchy, and he didn't get a song to himself, and now Crutchy has his own song, and it's just like, oh, okay, <laughs> um, so I wanted to talk about that, um, oh my gosh, so my favorite character in the show Oh, except for Crutchy, is Specs, just because Ryan Steele is, like, one of the best dancers I've ever seen in my life. And he played Specs in the original Broadway cast. And this, um, guy was named, um, Jordan Samuels. He played Specs, and he was really, really good. Um, he was more of, like, acrobatics. Like, every time I saw him, like, he wasn't... Like, usually, I don't know, maybe I'm just used to seeing the Broadway cast perform, but, like, Specs usually does, like, a thousand million pirouettes, and, like, the guy who did it in this cast was not Specs, and I was just like, oh, they, I, I don't know, I guess they just, whoever can do it, like, does the pirouettes and, like, everything, so. The guy that played Specs was not as great as a dancer as Ryan Steele, but he was, like, good at whipping and stuff, so I don't know why I really pay attention to Specs, because I think it's just because Ryan Steele, um, is like my favorite person in Newsies, except for like Corey Cott. But, and Jeremy Jordan. Oh my god, I love Jeremy Jordan. Do you see? Do you see this poster? It's signed. It's freaking adorable. Okay. Um, so that, oh, I forgot to mention Catherine. Um, who's played Catherine? Um, some girl. Catherine. She's like in the middle. She's not even on the top. Um, Stephanie Styles. Okay. I am like in love with Carol Lindsay, like, she is, like, super sweet, I met her, um, when she was in the Wicked tour, oh, oh I saw Wicked, like, last year, but never, I don't think I made a video on it, I met her last year, and, um, she was really, really sweet, and I just, I love her, she's, like, really good at the, like, happy, like, I don't know, characters, this girl was trying, I feel like she was, she was really good, she was good, but she was trying, like, I think that's just her voice, but she sounds so much like Glinda from Wicked. I guess if you listen to Carol Lindsay, she does sound like Glinda from Wicked in the Newsy soundtrack, but of course she does play Glinda now, but she did kind of sound like Glinda now that I think about it, now that I saw Stephanie. She sounded a little bit like Glinda, but Stephanie sounded so much like Glinda. Like, I was ready for her to, like, turn to Jack and be, like, popular, and, um... But she sounded so much like Glinda. Like, I think maybe she wants to be Glinda and she was, like, trying to incorporate it into, um, Catherine's character. I don't know. It was just really, really awkward. Um, maybe that's just how she talks and sings. But, uh, yeah, she was good altogether. She just reminded me a lot of Glinda. And, um, oh, the last thing I wanted to talk about was the audience reaction. Um, like I said, some of the songs are a little bit slow, um, I, so I had really low expectations for those songs, so when I actually heard, like, Pulitzer's songs, um, he, the guy who played him was so good, like, he, it made it more entertaining than I thought I was gonna be, like, on the CD, I usually skip those songs, but, like, the show was, like, the guy who played him was really good, let me look up his name just to, like, um... Steve Blanchard, Blanchard, um, he is really good, and, um, oh yeah, and I want to talk about Les, let me see, I don't know which one, so I went Thursday, so Vincent Crusella played Les, okay, <laughs> I feel so bad for him, because 
um, he, there's, like, really, like, moments where they're trying to make Les really, really cute, and, like, the audience was not having it, like, there's this part where Les is, like, screaming at, like, the newspaper people, and they're like, let me talk to Pulitzer, and I'll kick his butt, or something, and then it just, it went dead silent, and I was like, oh, like, this is awkward, because people were supposed to clap or something, so, like, I just went, Woo! And they started clapping, and then they, like the whole theater just started clapping because I I knew that there was supposed to be some like an applause there, but there just wasn't. And there's the part in um, Watch What Happens reprise, and she he's like at the end he's like, and I've got a date, and there's like this just like silence because they're supposed to be like laughing and, or like aw, but it was just dead silent after Watch What Happens reprise. I think the audience was just not, like, not into it, which sucks, because I love Newsy. It's probably, like, my, in my top three or five favorite musicals of all, probably top three musicals of all time, and it just, the audience was just not into it. I don't know what, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, he was cute nonetheless, but I just thought the audience was not having, like, the cute moments. But, altogether, I love the show, and it was just really, really good. I really want to see it again, but it's not gonna happen. I just live way too far away from Los Angeles, and that's where it is. Maybe one day it'll come to my current town, or, like, I'll get to see it again, but I'm going to show you what I bought. Um, I, of course, had this book already, but they were selling it at the theater. Um, the girl in front of me bought it, and I was like, oh my god, I'm in that, and she's like, what, really? I'm like, yeah, and she was like looking through all the pages, because I didn't know what page I was on, and she's like, is that you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> so we finally found my me, and I was like, oh, that's me, and she's like, oh, that's cool, and she was like, this must be like your 100th time seeing it, and I'm like, um, no, this is only my first time seeing this, <laughs> so it was just really funny, but I have this already, and I spent a lot of money, you guys, like, I wanted to buy the Newsies hat, but I just, like, I had already spent so much money. I was just, like, I can't. I can't. But, um, if you bought anything, you bought this bag for, like, either 5 or $10. I don't remember. But it's just the Newsies bag. And it says Newsies on it. And it's, like, a, what do you call it? <laughs> Newspaper bag. Um, the first shirt I got, I was actually, yeah. The first shirt I got is this one. And I saw this hanging and I've never seen it before like it's not online or anything gosh that's so cute um and I was like mm, I was just looking at everything and I was like wait and I looked at it and like it was far away like I was surprised I could recognize it and I looked at it and I was like looking and I was like oh my god that's Ryan Steele like that's Ryan Steele on the on the freaking on the on the shirt he's right there and I'm like <gasps> and I think Andy is on it too oh lord I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I know Ryan Steele was on it, and I was just like, oh my god, I need that shirt. Crap. It's like the most expensive shirt, but I have to have it. But this is Fancy, and then it says Newsies, and it has some of the Broadway original Broadway cast on it, and some hearts, and it's really, really cute. And I had to get it when I saw Ryan on it. I was like, yes. Um, shirt I got was just the tour shirt, which they don't sell this online either. Everything I bought, I wanted, like, all the shirts I bought, like, they didn't sell online. So, like, if I want one of the shirts that they sell online, I could just buy it online. But this one isn't online, and it says, Newsies on tour 2015, and it has the guy, like, jumping. And it's really long. Like, it's really big for, like, a sh I don't know. It's like a baseball shirt. It's really long. I'm wearing it today, but I just changed out of it so I could show you the back and stuff. But it says, Newsies, North America Tour 2015, and then it has all the tour dates, and Los Angeles is the one I went to. So, I had to get that shirt. And the next thing, I think you can get this online too, but I just, I saw it, and I'm just like, oh, I need this, because I have a lot of keychains, I like collect keychains, but it's the Newsies keychain in the back, so Seize the Day. I wanted to get the shirt that says Seize the Day, but they sell it online, so I can just get it, like, later. With whenever I get the Newsies hat, because I need the Newsies hat. I'm going to be a Newsie this year for Halloween. I'm planning on going to Disneyland, and they have, like, a Halloween party, and I'm going to dress up as Newsie. Yes, and the last thing I got, you can actually buy this online. I actually saw it on eBay for cheaper than what I paid for it. Um, so, it's a bobblehead, and it's Jack Kelly, and the side says... The first side says, seize the day, now it's time to seize the day. They're going to see their tail to pay. 
Nothing can break us, no one can make us quit before we're done. One for all and all for one, one for all and all for one. In the back, other side says, Look at me, I'm the king of New York. Suddenly I'm respectable, staring right at you, lousy with stature, not in with all them luckity mugs. I'm blowing my dough and going to Lux, and there I be, and I pretty. It's my city, I'm the king of New York. Ha! <sighs> okay, so those are what the side says, and then it has a picture of it on here. I think this is $15, and I saw it on eBay for like $10, but... I saw this, and I didn't know they had it. I don't know. I haven't looked at the merch site for a while. But I have this kind of stuff all over my room, so it'll just go with my room. And this is what it looks like. It's Jack Kelly, and he's like, yeah, revolution. Not revolution. Strike. 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 Yeah. I love him. And the newspaper says, Newsies stop the world. Oh, my God. So cute. I haven't even taken out of the package yet, now that I think about it. <laughs> um... Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Um, yeah. So, that's what I got. Um, this was really expensive. Everything together was really expensive. But, I love Newsies. It's, like I said, it's probably in my top three favorite shows of all time. And, it's just so good. I want to see it again so bad. Like, uh, I wish I could see it again. But, hopefully I will. And, Thanks guys for watching, sorry this video is so long, and, but I'll talk to you guys later, bye!